Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Yeah, today we have quite a bit of a dump in the market. The market is selling off, not unexpected. We've been talking about further downside in the last few days and over the last week. Yeah, we've been expecting this C wave to the downside. So at the moment, nothing unusual. Um, actually, it's worked out quite nicely. And also in terms of the depth of the decline and the strength, it's not out of what we would, you know, outside of the scope of what we expected. This can, of course, change, but for now, um, it follows our roadmap. So we talked about the move down here, which started at this high in April. Um, and we talked about this being an ABC structure, yeah, at least with a good likelihood that the A wave down was complete. And yesterday we talked about the B wave high could have been complete and that we can start to track the C wave down. Yeah, the reason why we talked about the B wave could be complete was that we already saw that triangle break. Uh, that was actually on Saturday already. And then I gave you a possible count to the downside and that is pretty much still valid. And I just made some changes to the subdivisions, but it looks to me as if we started off that E wave high. So again, a triangle consists of five waves. The E wave is the last wave of the triangle and we had a three wave move in the E wave indicating that it could be complete. I mean, they can always you know, extend further, but we can't, because we broke the triangle to the downside, we took out the B wave low. It was a strong indication we would sell off further, which we're doing at this stage. So we can count five waves down of the E wave high at 39.7 cents. I did give you that as relevant resistance as invalidation point. We can now lower that down to the wave two high. Yeah, that, that spike here that was made yesterday, I'm counting this as a wave two pullback. So if we zoom in a little bit, we can lower that relevant resistance line and invalidation point to 38.3 cents, which means that as long as we are holding below that level, the roadmap is pointing to the downside in this wave count. We would now look at a third wave breakdown. Yeah, we probably are in the third wave and I've sketched out um, a lower degree roadmap that is subject to change, but looks like we are now in a third wave of a third wave. That third wave here might be nearly finished and we should get a fourth and a fifth of wave three. What is going to be interesting is that the key target for the third wave. So to measure that, we take the length of the wave one, we go to the high of the wave two, and then it gives us roughly the 34 and a half cent level as a target for the third wave, approximate target. That means we have a good chance if this really remains the count and everything adheres to idealized structures, we should be able to stop this decline in the yellow support box, but it will be at the lower end, which increases probabilities that the support box will break, which would not be good for the imminent bullish breakout scenario to the upside. So we said after this decline, we should be able to turn around in a third wave rally. Um, but um, there is still another bullish scenario left. Yeah, we talked about that. We said, okay, Primary expectation is that the rally that started on the 10th of March here was a wave one leading diagonal. We're now coming down in a wave two, but it's also possible if I zoom out a little bit that we say that um, the structure was a bit different. This was actually a B wave high. We're now coming in a C wave to the downside and that would allow for a deeper pullback all the way down to 27.6 cents. So basically we are reusing the support and trend reversal area that was relevant on the 10th of March. Okay, um, but we're not there yet. And we just need to keep in mind if 33.3 cents is breaking, our white wave count with the imminent breakout scenario is going to be, well, not invalidated, but it's going to become very unlikely. But below that, we've got the 27.6 cent level left for another alternative bullish scenario. But below that level, I would start to look for new bear market lows. It's already that below 33 and a half cents or 33.3, I will get much more concerned about bear market lows coming. But yeah, so far, everything uh, according to plan. And um, we have nearly approached now the golden ratio, which is a relevant support level as well. Of course, I cannot, I cannot rule out that the move down is going to be finished here at the 36 cent level, but I have no indication. It would not be a clean five wave move. And I also have no indication it's over yet. So it's going to be interesting. Wednesday, Fed, uh, no, not Fed, um, inflation data. So that's going to be interesting. And it seems like we get a bit of a sell off ahead of that inflation data. 
Okay, that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.